Just arrived in Bahrain. It is 1 a.m. and our driver is here to pick us up. We are so tired. <laughs> it was like a 10 hour flight in total, including layovers. And we just got the visa upon arrivals. Such a simple, easy process. And now, whew, heading up the Kingdom of Bahrain in this nice, fresh air. Okay, we just arrived into the hotel and this place is huge! I didn't expect this, look! So the whole... Okay, this is the whole, I guess, living room area. <sighs> well, complimentary water, thank god, because I'm so thirsty and the tap water is not drinkable. But, and then you walk into here... Oh, Ah, so spacious. And this is the bathroom. Ooh, this whole bathtub, shower situation going on. The whole in closet, and a separate toilet. <laughs> that was a much needed sleep. And now, right before we head off to breakfast, I just want to take a peek the view from our hotel a lot of sand desert and buildings Ooh, so cozy oh. <laughs> Just starting off the first day in Bahrain right very easy as a ship we out here in Manama Manama is the capital of Bahrain but the thing is Bahrain is such a tiny tiny island nation in the Persian Gulf of the Middle East so while Manama is the capital it's possible to drive to the all the way to the end of the country in just one hour We're kicking off Bahrain with the mosque. The mosque. But this is the Al Fita Grand Mosque which is the spiritual center of all of Bahrain with soul, body, heart and mind right here. I'm wearing the traditional abaya which is so beautiful. It's all flowy and white and this is the allowed also, you're allowed to wear more formal wear as long as it's not beach wear into the mosque but also this is accepted wear into the mosque as well. It's an open air mosque because of the ventilation, so it's for ventilation. fits 5,000 people so imagine 3,000 people on the floor and 2,000 people up above in the balcony and now we are on the balcony of the mosque of the prayer room The amazing thing about Bahrain and its just fast pace of growth is that where we're walking right now and all this area, neighborhood surrounding the mosque 
this was all the sea. Bahrain is this island and it's quite small country compared to its Gulf neighbors but all of this they had to create mud to put on this in order to create this land and add more and more to the country but this is incredible that we're just walking on what was used to be the sea kind of like the Netherlands right yeah basically just pump out the water get more land for the people <laughs> Ready for your cultural immersion? <laughs> yes, come sit down. How oh, Jeroen is sitting cross-legged. I am not stretchable to sit cross-legged. So I will sit like this. Like the Romans did. Me or you? You. I think that they, they sat like, like that or something. Oh yeah, so, so chic. I'm gonna sit like that too. <laughs> <laughs> What type of grilled meats is it? Okay. That one meat kebab, yeah. Uh, that one lamb tikka, shish tau, okay. chicken, two chicken. Ah, yeah. this is the yogurt salad as well. First meal in Bahrain. So nice tearing things with my hands and then just eating it. I don't know what they marinate this meat with, but it is good. We're now driving from Manama, which is the city, the capital city of Bahrain, to Barak for breakfast. So even though it's in a different city, the island is actually the island country is actually quite small. If there's no traffic, you can get from one part of the island all the way across for only an hour drive. But with traffic, well, let's just say nobody really walks here, so everybody's in the car. But that's okay, this drive should take only about 15 minutes to the next city for breakfast. I'm just quite obsessed with architecture as you know and look at this cool building. Ah, loving Bahrain. Scotting arms of my kid, and cool, Palarit, Loba, red beans, egg in tomato. This is uh, bread, gingivari, gingivari in such cheese and pickle. This one, vegetable pakoda, kebab roll. Ah. This is fish flavor bread, meow. Okay, thank you so much. We are in the heart of the Mubarak Souk and in this hidden gem of a place, there's so much things to try. It's traditional, authentic Bahrainian food. And we're here for breakfast, so we have a platter of such variety. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to it. Oh, this, this all, this underneath. Okay, I'm gonna just wrap it up. Juicy. So tasty. <laughs> okay, so now that you tried a few of these, which one would you say is your favorite so far? This one. This one is most flavorful. Oh, the chickpeas? Yeah, not this one. Yeah, the beans. And this one. Kind of like the tomato-y scrambled egg. Yeah. This one. Okay. And this one. And then the noodle yeah. saffron flavor. We're now at the Arad Fort. So beautiful. Ooh, we can go there. Located in one of the world's 
chief oil producing regions, Bahrain itself actually only has small stores of petroleum, so instead, its economy has long relied on processing crude oil from neighboring countries, and more recently, the financial, commercial services, and communication sectors have grown. It's an unpretentious yet confident country, bearing all the hallmarks of a modern, wealthy Gulf nation. This here is the Royal Camel Farm. And so the Royal Family of Bahrain keeps all of their camels just here on this farm and it's free to visit. How cute. They're actually such huge animals. <laughs> cute. Got some feeding shrubs for the camels now. Oh, hungry fellas. Wait, wait, wait. You guys have to share. Oh, they're so huge. Now's your room's turn to feed them. Time to eat up, guys! Thank you. <laughs> so cute! Thank you. Just casually Thank you. feeding the royal family's pets. That's the where the Grand Prix is held, oh, held as well. That's the international circuit and also where the race cars for Formula One happens. Alright, what makes the tree of life the tree of life is because it's in the middle of the, all these oil rigs that literally in the desert and is the only thing that is living and green. The tree of life. What do you see? The other side. Oh. See right through. You missed some spots for your sunscreen, huh? See? Is it gone? <laughs> yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Was it on my mustache? So funny. Gotta be protected. <laughs> Locally known as the Bahrain Fort, where we are right now, has been a long architectural development between the 15th and 17th century AD. It became a crucial and strategic trade route between India and China. It's like a whole castle, but it's a fortress. And the Portuguese occupied this place too, back, back then. We just entered the Bab al Bahrain gates into the Manama Souk. So let's do some shopping now. <laughs> Oh, 
found this little alleyway cafe called Haji's Traditional Cafe. So we're like, ooh, okay, time for some pit stop in the souk and let's grab some food. So what are you having right there? Because it looks creamy and good. Our favorite. And we also have some chicken biryani. Alright, so I'm ending it here in the Bahrain National Museum where we get to see the all walks and different cultures and customs of the local Bahraini as well as the history here in this beautiful, beautiful country. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give this vlog a thumbs up, leave a comment below and hit subscribe because there will be more Middle East adventures coming your way.